And we are going to go racing 300 miles here at Indianapolis this afternoon. Happy Easter, everybody. Green flag in the air. And we are underway here at the Brickyard. And coming to the Yard of Bricks to complete the first lap. Strauss will hold off his challengers. And we are now going to start settling in, hopefully into a comfortable pattern here. Oh, car up high. Big, big up high. Who is that? Zach Mertz? Oh! Oh, no! Wagner! Green flag, lap five. Still a long way to go. Thanks for everyone joining us on this Easter Sunday here in Indianapolis in the Evor IR05 series. Alexander McBean taking a look on uh, Jonas Weber. Carnival, who do we got? Yarnoslav, Donkoy, and Bonnie. Yeah, right now, Maddie, I'm thinking I'm, I'm pretty good unless we get down to about five cars left, and then I might need someone up here to to uh, help keep me sane and then uh, someone to at least talk stories with because it's going to be a boring race at this point. That's right, and there's a car on the wall right at the top of the screen. Cedric Colboom, Chris Lewis. Uh, we got a couple cars. Collie's staying out. Probably good call on here. Weber's, Weber's staying out. Probably good call on his part. Green flag again. Weber takes off nice and early, but Strauss on the inside of Collie going in the one. Collie going up high. Weber, or excuse me, that's uh, O'Sullivan following him through. Seb Kinder next in line. Collie staying high. Keeping it off the wall. Not a good run down because he had to r r back out of it. Not got a good run down the back stretch. Got a r r I cannot talk today, guys. Might, I might need someone else in the booth. But uh, he's losing a lot of momentum there. That's what I'm saying. Trying to say, anyways. And into the wall. And almost collects another car. Hang on, Bill. Hang on, Bill. Hang on, Bill. Hang on, Bill. Car snaps back into place, but they are stacking up behind him. Julian to the outside. Gonna go four wide almost into the corner. Oh. Not a lot of momentum side by side down the back stretch. Gets down. Yeah, the fastest line is going to be the bottom here with the uh, the fact that they're just not able to outpull each other down the straight. Unless there was a car on the draft there. Julian clears, move him up to 8th, weeks back to ninth. Christensen in 10th. Cars crashing down the backstretch. Gary Lovern involved. Donskoy involved as well. 2Y going down the backstretch. Weeks decides to follow Julian. Julian's going to stay high. Going to have clean air. He's going to also have a good run up into the short shoot. Sullivan's still underneath him. No, uh, no ground gained there. Julian off the corner. Almost in the wall. Weeks, uh, excuse me, not Weeks. Uh, the McBean might have got the wall. And Karn, oh, and Strauss. How, how'd that happen? Oh, he just got loose off corner. Uh, you can fit Buckingham Palace, the Vatican, and there's a pass for the lead right there. It's Sullivan, did he inside of Julian? As we're watching... Well, once again, if you're just joining us, it's been a very eventful first 90 laps here uh, at the Brickyard for the uh, VOR IR05 Series Indianapolis 300. A bit of rough going very early on. We've kind of settled into a, a bit of a, uh, a routine here, but uh, we have just seven cars remaining out of 20 that started. The leader just turned a 40.6. Second place to third, 40.7. And uh, P3, a 42.3. So I think the second group is trying to save fuel. As he has nine seconds over Julian, and he's really feathering it. Last time by, McBean, a 43.6. The rest of the group behind, a 44.4. Sullivan, a 40.8. Christensen has moved ahead of the second group. We haven't been watching that, but I've been kind of anticipating Christensen to move ahead. I was wondering maybe there might be uh, maybe some team orders going on there with Julian and saying, yeah, get on up here and help me out. 
Or maybe just Christensen is uh, tired of waiting. The intrigue is high now. Oh, Kali. Oh, and there's going to be a caution. Caution with nine to go. I could be wrong. It would be the, wouldn't be the first time. And here comes Christensen. Here comes Altina. <laughs> and I think they're going for that last set of tires. Oh, O'Sullivan spins it. And we're going back to caution again. No, we're not. And again, we, it looks like I'm just kind of speechless. O'Sullivan got taken out by the, by the low torque, low power range of these things. And send Weeks to the top. Hang on, McBean. Don't keep in it, buddy. Julian down low. Now going to join Christensen. Julian going to stay high. Here comes the, uh, the, the snake down the front stretch. Weeks now. Five laps to go. Julian now. P2. P3. Uh, Christensen, P2. McBean with a great effort. Now falling back to fourth, the fifth. Here comes Christensen. He's in the draft. He's going to go low. In the three, side by side. He is going to not get the position yet. Still side by side in the north end of the racetrack. And clears him. Now here comes the snake. It's being more active as they're trying to break the draft. Christensen starting to work his way out in front of this group. by a little by two tenths. Julian to the inside of Weeks. Through the turn three, into the chute, into turn four. Julian might have it on corner exit. He does. He clear. He goes ahead and clears it now. Move Julian up to second. Seb Kinder up to third. Weeks down the fourth. Leader by nine. Kinder now to P2. Side by side with Weeks and Altena. Kinder starting to pull away. A lap and a half to go. Christensen looking at the biggest win of his VOR career in any level right now. Looking at square in the face. One to go. Leader by eight. Down to the white line into the chute. Kinder reeling him in. Down to the white line again in, in two. Exit off of two. Clear the wall. Starting to break the, do the snake to break the draft. Julian trying to hang on the third. He cannot help his teammate at this point. Half a lap to go. Down in the corner three. Down to the white line. Two wheels just below the white line. Kinder trying to cut into it. It's leader by seven. Coming off a of corner number four. Christensen. Been a member of Vore for a very long time. Been a member of Team Vore just recently in the last couple years. But he is going to win his first race on the IRO 5 Series. And he does it at Indianapolis. Great win there by John. I'm sure he's happy. Of course, we know we have uh, family in chat. Let's get these results up. Christian said with the win. Kinder P2, Julian Altena P3, Matthew, Matthew Weeks, excuse me, is in P4. McBee with a great run in P5. Lena O'Sullivan in P6. Uh, Collie P7, Strauss 8, Weber 9th. Uh, Doshinko 10th. Going race first again April 14th for round four of the inaugural season of the VOR IndyCar IRO 5 Series as the teams and drivers head four hours west of here to Gateway.